If you know me personally or watch my television program, then you know that I love to dance. I really do, y'all. Y'all is a New Orleans expression. New Orleans? Is that where they came up with y'all? Louisiana and French New Orleans? Y'all is a New Orleans expression that I felt obliged to include at least once in this book to show that I haven't gone Hollywood there. I've used it. Now, no highfalutin critic can say that I've forgotten where I came from. Okay, Ellen DeGeneres. Whatever happened to Ellen? Whatever happened to Ellen? Anyway, like I said, I love dancing. You know that expression, cleanliness is next to godliness. Well, I believe that. But dancing is next to cleanliness. And singing along to the radio in a convertible with the wind whipping through your hair is next to dancing. And walking down a country road at sunset is next to singing along with the radio with the wind whipping through your hair. Walking down a country road at dawn is next to walking down a country road at sunset. Actually, one is virtually indistinguishable from the other, but the dawn one requires getting up really early. So I'd rather just walk down the country road at sunset unless I had to be up Anyway, say if I had to pick up an old friend from the airport or I had to take somebody to the hospital or even if I just couldn't sleep, then I guess I'd prefer walking down that country road at dawn and just getting it over with. I have a good dance background. I probably, I've probably got a more extensive dance background than a lot of people. Just to tell you something about my skills, I rarely missed Soul Train while growing up. And although I was never actually what you might call on the show itself, my friends all said that I could have been. If I hadn't been born quite so white, as they put it. Since I feel blessed in this area, I think it's only right that I share my gift with you, the people who may not have been born with the same sense of rhythm. I'm going to teach you a simple yet hip dance I invented. I call it the Ellie Jelly. The Ellie Jelly. Alrighty, first thing we have to do is get into our dance gear. That could be a leotard, sweats, glittery tights, whatever. Da 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 da. All right, Ellen. Ellen. My point, and I do have one. This was back, published way, way, way back in the um, in the early was it 1950s? 1970? No, 1995. So 1995. Let's see here. Let's just right here. I have ended my quest for corporate sponsorship. The only offer came from a place called Uncle Huey's Dry Cleaning and Donut Shop and only if I wore a vest with their motto if you get some jelly donut on your clothes we'll clean it before you're finished with your second cup of coffee I've got too much pride I will not look ridiculous I cannot afford to look ridiculous so I turned them down they could keep their $35 they could keep their $35 